they say, how do you reflect on a couple of wins out of your Melbourne trip? That must have been pretty special. Yeah, it was. Um, obviously, tough game against the Saints, um, but one we were really pleased with in the end. Um, some really strong performances again. And then, obviously, um, to have that win on the weekend, um, really challenging. Geelong have been a really good team, played finals last year. Um, but once we got going, I thought it was a strong performance. And how the group handled the shorter turnaround? Because not everyone's done it as, as well as you guys have. Yeah, I really am. Um, the girls are really professional in their approach every week. Um, this week will be exactly the same, obviously, um, against the Hawks. But um, they just get to work. You know, they're, we're going to review strongly, as we always do. They prepare, they reset, and then um, put their best foot forward this weekend. Is this a week where you have to manage sore bodies as much as Tuesday was? Because you've obviously had the flight home and, yeah. and the extra load. Is that part of your thinking this week? Yeah, potentially. Um, obviously, we've got one training tonight, so... That'll be slightly modified as well. And then we just, um, you know, modify those loads of girls we need to. And then others, um, you know, the girls that have been playing scrimmage have been banging down the door. So it's that nice mix as well. But, um, yeah, we try not to change too much as well because obviously it's been working for us. How's the health of the, the list going after the trip? Yeah, it's not too bad, to be honest with you. There's always going to be a few sore bodies. But um, once again, we just have a lighter session tonight and then, you know, send them home and get them to reset on Saturday and prepare for Sunday. Um, Dana Ace, how's she going with her concussion? Yeah, she's travelling really well. Um, super easy to get back out there, but obviously um, she'll be available for Carlton. Um, just taking a look at um, the, the two wins as well, how important was that to, I guess, in terms of finals and the, the season that you're setting up for yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Really important for us. Um, we've shown that, you know, we're really strong, especially in that back half of games. Um, the girls are fiercely determined. We obviously have to continue to grow. And um, I guess the obvious one is our start. So we want to keep building on that. But um, for them to get up every single week, put, you know, some really good pressure on the contest and then um, execute, especially in late in those quarters, has been really good for us. Have you been able to identify in terms of the slow starts? What, what is it an attitude thing? Is it just that the contest is so fierce between you two at the start of the game? Have yeah. you been able to pinpoint it yet? No, it's a hard one. We're kind of looking at different ways in which we can, you know, modify our pre-game or you know the mindset going out. But it's certainly not attitudinal. I think the girls are fierce. As, as soon as that ball goes up, it's been tight contests. Uh, you know, it is hard to score, but, um, yeah, it's one of those ones we'll keep tweaking and one we know is an area of growth for us. Have you been happy with the way that the girls have gone about finding an alternate pathway to goal? Yeah. Onyo was such a, a big out, but it sort of seems as though it hasn't had too much of an effect in terms of other people stepping up, whether it be midfielders as well. Absolutely. Um, I think you saw on the weekend... Um, I think Hayley, you know, did exceptionally well, um, but she was really well supported by Ebony and Ari. So, you know, with the absence of Anya and obviously TK's doing a fantastic job down there. So we're just really clear on what we're asking for those girls. Um, we're not asking for someone to replace Anya. We're just asking for everyone to do their role. And that might look slightly different to what it was in pre-season, but they've adjusted so well. They've got a really great growth mindset. And it's something I'm really proud of probably the most is that their flexibility to change different roles and adapt and continue to learn on the job has been really pleasing. Now, I know the, the term is one game at a time, but do you use the thought of finals as motivation? And do you speak about it? Yeah, it's not one for us for the motivation. I mean... We need to stay in every game and, you know, you lose one or, you know, you get too far ahead of yourself and things change really quickly. Also on an elite outfit, we need to be at our best to beat them this week. And going forward as well, we've got some great matches as well with Carlton, obviously the Derby, Bulldogs and GWS. So um, we have to be at our best to, to win. Um, so, yeah, just getting back to process, continually build, finding ways in which we can improve our game and adjust as the competition has as well because it's really tight. Are you, are you happy with what the mix looks like down forward? Does that still need a bit of tinkering or do you reckon that, that might be a pick and stick for now? Yeah, I think it just needs a bit of time. Like uh, if you would have said pre-season, you know, and we looked at our team, you know, we're really pleased to obviously have Morrow back, um, Ebony, TK, they were playing different roles at the start of the season. So I think it just needs a bit of time for us to work through that. Um, but at the moment, you know, we're getting the job done. So that's the best part. The girls that have been super adaptable and that you kind of did it with Ange last year, but you've been able to throw a whole number of girls around different positions, yeah. Sarah Verrier and, and heaps of girls. How proud are you of, of their ability to adapt to those roles? Yeah, incredibly. Um, 
we know Cerveria, Gabba um, on the weekend, we flipped them back and forward and, you know, Sarah got a goal, Gabba's run, her ability to cover the ground's exceptional um, and they're just two of many players that we've been flipping. I mean, Hayley played a lot of the game forward. We understood that um, she's got electric speed and she's fantastic in the contest. So for her to be able to do that as the others is something, yeah, as I said, we talked about flexibility pre-season, but for them to be able to execute has been brilliant. What does it open up and allow you midfielders to do when they can be so sure that Min's going to get her hands on the ball first 40 times a game and, and yeah. get them first look at it? Does it allow you to, to do some more things in the middle? Yeah, we've been working really hard. Um, I love the centre square bounce kind of battle in terms of every week I work really closely with um, I guess the mids and how other teams are setting up and it's kind of my little way of, um, you know, staying really switched on in terms of setups and continuing to grow my understanding of the game as well. And to have that is great, but we also know that there's some great rucks in the comp that are really testing Mim as well. Um, we can't just assume we're going to win it. We have to be attacking and defensive in that mindset and getting the right balance of that is an education piece, which... The girls have been great. Like I have them outside. They've got these little inflatable kind of things that we set up to, you know, mimic what opposition are doing. And that's the beauty about our group is um, they take so much pride in their performance. So there's a lot of work that goes into it. So, um, yeah, Mim goes to work, but so do our mids as well. Have you been setting up those inflatables in preparation for Hawthorne? <laughs> yes. Well, we've only got our session tonight, so it's actually quite funny. Yeah, they're heavy, those things. I have to drag them out. I, I put them on our kind of centre square bounce on the turf. And, yeah, it's it's a good game. It's a, it's a really great way for the girls to understand what it's like as opposed to flipping, you know, bibs and getting some of our players to do it. So it's just great for them to see what other teams are trying to do and it assists them in learning the game as well because every team will throw something different at you. So once again, the flexibility and adaptability piece, um, as we saw on the weekend with Derby and the way she rucks, but this week we've got Wales and going forward, we've got the Moody sisters. So um, forever changing, but it's an area of um, our game in which I can be really proud of the group have adapted to. How big of an impact has, how big of an impact has Mim had with her um, work around the ground as well, particularly her marks and her tackles? Exceptional. Yeah, she's, as I said, fourth midfielder, but... Uh, the way that she reads the play, uh, she laid some really, really big tackles, took some really great marks. But I think even on the weekend when I was watching back the vision, she missed a kick. It's going to happen. And then she tried the exact same kick and absolutely executed. So her ability to kind of go, you know what, I've missed one, but I can stay and get back on task and execute the next and kind of back her strengths in is something that's a real win for us. Talk about her and all Australian. Do you see her performances being at that level at the moment? Yeah, I do. Um, she just gets it done every single week. And, um, yeah, she's continually changing the way that she lines up from a um, ruck perspective. She wants to know – she's worked so much on her kicking, her hit outs, um, and then at ground level as well. So, um, yeah, absolutely, I'd be pushing her name forward, that's for sure. Um, what have you made of Hawthorne? Where are their strengths and, and areas to exploit? Well, I think the beauty of them is they're good all over the ground. They're great runners. Um they're really, I think they're sitting second on the ladder, so that's not by accident. They're, they're a really strong team. They've got great players, um, obviously, inside, forward, and then um, their backs are holding up. I mean, they kicked, what, you know, 11 goals the other week, which is exceptional. So, you know, they can score, so we're going to have to be on our game and have a really strong mindset with um, how we defend them to kind of limit their opportunities. You've got the best road record in the comp. Do you reckon you can be confident that that translates to home? Is there something special on the road? Because you seem to have kind of mastered it. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think so. Um, yeah, we obviously we might just treat this week as an away game, but we'll see how we go. Um, <laughs> no, or maybe I might stay in a hotel. That would help my sleep. But, um, yeah, no, I don't think so. Um, we've got a great battle. Once again, we are really connected and it's easy to just say that, but by actions, the girls love getting away together, um, but we can stay focused and on task. And as I said, we've got a lot of players that actually work outside. And so to be able to get time off work and focus purely on football is a real strength of our program. The lack of travel for essentially three games must be a pretty exciting prospect as well, settle into a routine and get to work at home. Yeah, absolutely. Um, a few longer breaks for us coming up as well. So we get to get back to work, put a little bit more into our training as well. Because obviously um, with the condensed fixture, you, you can only do so much during the week and gives the girls that are pushing for selection a, a great way to kind of put their best foot forward. Um, just your mid-season sort of synopsis, what's been the biggest area of improvement that you've 
enjoy seeing the girls sort of take on and where do you see this group needs to get to and like see improvement from? Yeah, I think that mindset to continually shift and change. Um, as we've seen across the comp, there's a lot of changes, whether that's, um, you know, teams that you pick prior to the season, you know, it's so tight at the top and you can't pick week to week who's going to win. But our adaptability and flexibility, um, every week I'll come up with something that I want the girls to approve on and they've been doing it. So um, we can't just assume that's going to continue to happen. We have to get to work. Um, we've got five really important games for us and, um, yeah, we can't look too much more forward than the Hawthorne game this week.